What's going on everybody, Sonar here, and for this Outside the Box, let's talk about the differences between a chatterbait and a swim jig, and the different types of conditions that, that you're going to want to use each one in. Um, you know, both of these are excellent shallow water power fishing tactics. They catch a lot of fish and big fish too, and they're excellent around cover, you know, especially vegetation. Both of them are really good. But where one excels over the other is really important to note. The first one, the chatterbait, is probably my overall favorite when it comes to uh, shallow water power uh, fishing tactic, especially if I'm faced with dirtier water. Dingier water, low visibility, um, you know, whether it's muddy or just stained, a chatterbait does really well because it has a lot of vibration, a lot of movement. It just creates a large sound profile underneath the water, and that's really, really important in those low visibility conditions. And it also comes through submerging grass very very easily you know hydrilla milfoil coontail any type of submergent vegetation a chatterbait is really really uh, good at shaking that grass off and staying snag free so a chatterbait is my choice faced with dirtier water and submergent grass on the other hand if I'm faced with emergent grass like uh, lily pads, reeds, kissimmee grass, or any other type of uh, emergent vegetation that's above the, the water, um, I love a swim jig because it is very, very versatile. You can move very, very quickly, and it also goes through that cover very, very well. The type of cover that, that a chatterbait, frankly, cannot come through very easily. Uh, a swim jig can do that very, very well. And, uh, and another thing about the swim jig is it's more subtle. It doesn't create as much vibration. Um, it, it really doesn't have a whole lot of action other than the trailer that you put on it. Um, so it's very, very good for clearer water situations where the fish are highly pressured and they just want something a little bit more subtle. And so overall, if you're faced with emergent grass, cleaner conditions, clearer, higher visibility situations, a swim jig is gonna be the one to go to. So overall, these two baits are excellent for shallow water power fishing around heavy vegetation and heavy cover, but one is better than the other uh, depending on the conditions. So give them both a try, experiment a little bit, and I know you guys are gonna catch more fish. I'll see you guys out in the water.